Hi, this is Sahana. In this video, we are going to understand static constructor in C sharp. We have already discussed default constructor, parameterized constructor and private constructor in our previous sessions. In this session, we are going to learn static constructor. If you wish to watch related videos, do check the description. You will find a playlist link. Look at this student class. This class has a parameterless constructor and a parameterized constructor. These two are the instance constructors. That means they are called when an instance of a student class is created. Here is another class, subject class, which has a private constructor. Private constructor is nothing but this constructor cannot be called from outside of this class. It can be called only from within this class. That is the reason we have the special method create subject, which creates instance of this subject class and returns the instance. Same way, C Sharp has another type of constructor, which is a static constructor. Static constructor is a constructor that is declared with a static keyword. Static constructor is used to initialize any static data or to perform a particular action that need to be performed only once. Before discussing further, let's write a small piece of code. We have a teacher class. Now I will add a static field. This is going to be private static int total teachers we are going to use this field to keep track of the total number of teachers now i will add the properties this is going to be string type name next property is going to be age these two are the properties now i will add a static constructor to this class as we have discussed earlier static constructor will have static keyword then constructor name is going to be teacher now you can write the logic that you want i'm using this static constructor to print a message i'm and i'm initializing this static field total teachers to zero see there are a few important features that we should know first very important thing is static constructor doesn't take access modifier see here we have static keyword if i write access modifier public static teacher then we get error message saying access modifiers are not allowed on static constructors next is static constructor doesn't take parameters let's verify that i will write int test we get error a static constructor must be parameterless other features are a class can have only one static constructor it cannot be inherited or it cannot be overloaded other important things are static constructor is invoked automatically that means user has no control when the static constructor is called but one thing is sure it runs before an instance constructor to this teacher class we have added only one constructor that is static constructor while discussing parameterized constructor we have discussed that if we don't provide any constructor in any class then c sharp will add default parameterless constructor suppose we define suppose we add any parameterized constructor to that class then c shop will not provide any default parameterless constructor if we want then we have to define explicitly then what about the default parameterless constructor in this case we have added static constructor if a class has a static constructor but no other constructors, the default constructor is still implicitly provided by the compiler. That's the reason I can easily create instance of teacher class. I will show you. Now I will create instance using new keyword. Another important thing is static constructor is only called once. I will create one more instance. Now we can run this application. Look at the output. We are printing this message from static constructor then we have called default parameterless constructor twice then even though static constructor is called only once now we clearly understand what is static constructor and what are its different characteristics but important question is when to go for a static constructor on msdn you can find clear explanations of different situations where a static constructor is useful a typical use of static constructor is when a class is using a log file and the constructor is used to write entries to this file or if you want to create wrapper classes for unmanaged code or to enforce runtime checks on the type parameter that cannot be checked at compile time. 
A class can have different types of constructors along with static constructor. Now I will add instance constructor that is parameterized constructor which will take name and age as parameters and it will increment the static field. One more important point is static constructor cannot access any non-static member of a class. In this teacher class, total teachers is the static member and name and age are non-static members. If I try to access, see if I try to access name, I will get error. See, it says an object reference is required for non-static field method or property. Here is a quick summary of static constructors. I hope the session was useful. There is a lot more to learn. See you soon in the next video. Thank you.